Hey there, and welcome to the screencast about how to use Sora, the platform that we have here in the Valley Stream Central High School District for checking out ebooks and audiobooks. So, right off the bat, there's a bunch of ways to get to Sora. Um, you can use the library website that we have here at North. There's a link to it right here on the home page. There's also a link to it on the books tab as well, where you can click Sora there. Um, and it is also something accessible within class link. You can see I have it as number two right there. Um, but no matter what you do, whether you're clicking here or whether you're clicking somewhere else, Sora is going to um, log in. And if you're doing it through class link, you're automatically going to be logged in through the Valley Stream Central High School District. And this is it. This is what it looks like right here. You can already start to see that there are books available for me to see. I can see I have something that's the Harry Potter uh, audiobook, because I see that little icon there. This is Diary of a Wimpy Kid. This is the actual book. Um, and I could see a bunch of different things right here. I could see new things that have come out and, and, and a bunch of different things, great reads that it's going to suggest to me. I can see different um, genres and, and whatnot as I, as I go through here. I can also search for very specific things up here in the search bar as well. So what I want to do though is I want to go to um, right off the bat the me tab. Now you're going to see that when you first do it, it's going to maybe not say your name, um, but you can always edit the profile and you can change your name and you can pick whatever icon you want. Um, and you can apply them and then they'll save and do that. It's going to give you a bunch of reading stats here. So you can see um, how much time you have read in Sora, um, how many books you've opened, your average time per book, how like all these different things. And you can actually get, because of those, all these different achievements that will pop up. Um, you know, some very easy to do, like opening up and listening to an audiobook, and some uh, that might be a little bit more challenging, kind of gamifying the experience for you. Um, that's this tab. I want to go back to home. So home is going to be where you're going to see a bunch of different things, mainly um, what you're currently reading. You can see that I'm, I have checked out here The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes by Suzanne Collins, the prequel to The Hunger Games. You can see any highlights and notes I've made in it, um, and you can see um, defined words that I have like highlighted in the book, things that I want to keep in mind uh, and track, um, just to kind of keep in mind what words um, I need to know or that I, I wanted to know that I that were unsure of when I was reading and it's also going to suggest you certain books based on things that you've checked out or searched um, if you have a book already checked out you click it right there um, and you can open it and here it is now this is going to work here I'm doing this on the mobile on the not the mobile app on the desktop version of the computer so I have everything right here on my in my browser but know that if you download the mobile app of Sora which is a fantastic app it's going to give you the same exact experience on your phone or on your tablet and everything syncs. So if you're reading something here on your on your computer, on your laptop or your desktop, um, and then you open it up on your on your phone, it's going to sync everything over. It'll line up right with the right place. Um, if you have things like, oh, let me get out of here and close this. Let me close the book. Um, you can send it to different devices. So if you have a Kindle, um, like an Amazon Kindle, you can send the book to that if that's something that you want to do. Um, and these are just kind of the options you have when you have a book um, that is checked out. You can also renew it and then return it when you're done. But I'm going to go back because um, I've already checked this book out and I just want to show you the process of actually checking something out. So um, I, you could also see different holds and list things here on the shelf. It's a similar sort of option if you click that one. But let's say I want to actually check out a book and I want to see like, you know, if there is something here. So I go to explore and I go to search. Now let's say I just want to search for the book um, Ghost by Jason Reynolds. So this is bringing me up everything that I have with the, with the title Ghost in it. Um, and you can kind of see that I don't have anything here under the Valley Stream Central High School District. Um, but I do belong to this collection called Li Student Reads, which I'm going to show you how to how to get to. Um, that uh, does have it. So if I click it right here, I can see this is the ebook version. Um, I can get a bunch of information about it if I wanted to read a sample of it. I could, but the word here uh, borrow means that I can actually take it out right now. It's it's ready for me to do. Um, so I'm going to click borrow right there, and that's it. The book is now mine. I have it. I can take it out. I can do. All sorts of different things here. Um, I can go through here. There's things I can do. If I hold down on the screen, 
I can actually highlight words, I can define them. Let me, let me get a little bit more of a highlight. So let's say I have this right here. I can pick my color here. And let's say this describes a sunflower. I'm just writing this just because I see the word sunflower here. Um, and I'm going to hit save. And that's now going to save and that's going to be great and that's going to be awesome. So if I click back, I can close it. And that's pretty much that. I can open the book again um, and I can go back here and, and that's pretty much that. Um, it's just as easy as this. Audiobooks work exactly the same. So if I want to borrow an audiobook, let's say I want to borrow this one right here. Um, I have it and I can play. And it's going to play through just like an audiobook normally would um, if you've ever listened to one before. If you get the mobile app, you'll also be able to listen to it with headphones. And it's, it's really a nice, great, seamless experience. Um, I did want to show you, though, how to add uh, yourself to different libraries. So we have a collection here through the Valley Stream Central High School District. Um, and you're, by default, you're going to be a part of that collection. However, there's different types of collections out there because you are a resident of New York State. And because of that, you get an access to a range of other books that I, I implore you to join these catalogs so that you just get more and more and more and more access to more and more and more and more books. So at default, like I said, you have the ability to get to the Valley Stream Central High School District. You'll be there. But there's these other ones here like Long Island Student Reads and the Nassau BOCES School Library System and New York Reads that I really think you should add to your Sora. Um, I wish I can default uh, make this possible for all of you, but you have to actually physically add this. Um, so if I go to, I mean, these are already in here for me, but if I go to Add Library, I can type in LI Reads. Whoops. LI student reads and I can click that and it's going to add me to that. Now, I'm not going to sure what's happened because yeah, I'm already in it. So and then I go to add library again and I type in Nassau BOCES school library systems and I add myself to that as well. And then finally I do the same thing for NY reads and I add myself to that. And that's pretty much all you need to do to kind of get going and get started with um, with Sora. So now that I'm back to all of these different things and, and I'm kind of in all of these different um, collections now. So if I search for, let me just search for Ghost again, you can kind of see that it's searching through these various different things here. And I have LI Reads, I'm going to have Nassau BOCES, um, and I have NY Reads. And the book did show up in one of these, but it just gives you access to more and more and more. So this is it. This is Sora. Um, this is how you get into it. This is how you search it. This is how you use it. There's a lot of information here in this video, but it's a great way to get started with this platform. Um, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask or to stop by the library. Um, and I can help you get up and running with this and even adding the different collections um, in here. Have a great day. Take care.